tiny terminators, artificial red blood cells reportedly developed by scientists. The synthetic blood cells can potentially be fitted with quote unquote functional cargo that would allow them to be used for therapeutic drug delivery or toxin biosensing and detection within the target's bloodstream. An international team of scientists managed to achieve a potentially groundbreaking feat. They successfully produced a synthetic red blood cell, or RBC for short. This according to what Science Alert reports. And according to that outlet, in order to make their Terminator red cell, the team first covered donated red blood cells with silica, which was subsequently painted with polymers of different charges. Then the scientists proceeded to scrape away the silica and cell guts and to coat the resulting polymer membrane with a skin made from the red blood cells, thus ending up with an empty bio-con biconcave shell which produced no signs of adverse effects in the lab mice it was injected into. Describing their findings in ACS Nano, the researchers outlined several potential uses for the rebuilt blood cells, RRBC for short, like oxygen delivery, therapeutic drug delivery, magnetic manipulation, and toxic biosensing and detection as the modular procedures they've developed to allow fitting their cells with functional cargo, such as hemoglobin drugs, magnetic nanoparticles, and ATP biosensors. The scientists stated, taken together, RRBC, or rebuilt red blood cells, represent a class of long-circulating RBC-inspired artificial hybrid material with a broad range of potential applications, whatever that may mean. This is on Sputnik News. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.